Hello Virgo, this is Leonard with Lincoln Berry Tea Tarot and I'm doing your tarot reading for your love life in June. So, it looks like you might be doing a little bit of career change, self-employment, um, and there's a lot of memories going around um, with somebody who you may really like in your life. There might be some healthcare changes in you or those around you. And just to believe in the magic and that the magical gateway is going to open eventually. And have the motivation in whatever you're doing to manifest, whether if it's um, in your life, money, or in your love life or just your spiritual love life, spiritual life, find the motivation for it. Find the balance for it. Because there's definitely romance going to be in your life. But right now, life is telling you to slow down and actions speak loudly and be supportive of others. And there will be a union of hearts. And something about physical touch and love endures, so that may speak to some of you on those two fronts because we do have the soulmate here and a message for you. I'm thinking of you at the very moment. Your love fills me with light and I love you and I'm supportive. It's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstance and currently feeling to yourself in. And whatever thing that you're trying to search for, only time will tell. And there is definitely passion going to be coming in your life. But slow down, take things one day at a time, and yeah, take care of yourself. Find that self-love that you need in your life. And with that, it will enter into your um, overall love life as well. So, let's see what pulls out in the tarot cards. And just to let you know, this is the second time I'm doing this video, because the first time it didn't want to take, although the overall messaging from the oracle cards is still the same. But let's see what pulls out from the Druidcraft Tarot and then we will clarify with the Universal Celtic Tarot. Ace of Pentacles. So there is a brand new beginning and it may do with your career along with your love life, which may manifest as well. Because you have balance in your life now. And this is your minor card, Virgo. And you're definitely manifesting with the Ferial Tear. And the Two of Pentacles, you have a major decision you need to make. Mm. Kind of broken hearted right now. But you're moving into calmer waters. And you're very much in your head as the Nine of Swords is in opposition. So, try not to overthink some things. And again, you're manifesting things in your life. With the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Swords, so.
you could be in a current relationship or for those of you may have just broken up with somebody who you honestly love and care about and you're trying to figure out how to move on because some of you don't want to move on you're kind of stuck in your head um, you may be dealing with an Aries or there may be a father figure who will be helping you see things in a different light with the hangman because there are other fish out in the sea and one may be swimming towards you. Or it could be this person that you're heartbroken over. Mm. There might be a little bit of inebriation. So kind of watch out for that too much celebrating maybe going on but the wheel is turning in your favor bringing some sort of resolution in what you need to make a final decision on but let's go ahead and clarify the cards and see what pulls out so why is the six of pentacles here You're entering into an empress mode. And you kind of have your guard up of those around you. Because you are starting to love yourself again and getting that balance back. So there's the fairy up here. truth and love. I saw something flip over. Yeah. Bringing somebody back into your life who's very much fiery and passionate. And it could also speak to that there may be several people coming in because I kind of kind of sense that one of them might be new and one might be an old flame that you have. So there's the two pinnacles here. Okay, and a lot of cards. So. Top three and the rest back. The truth will come out. And this person, well, both of them, will come in very fiery and hot, and mm, you're willing to entertain an offer, and might even have somebody on the back burner, but, um, yeah. You definitely put in your boundaries, but do you also tell your truth of what you're looking for and what you're seeking? And whether or not if those are um, qualities that you're seeking. Okay. Yeah. And what 
you're looking for is an emperor to offer their cup to you, so it could be this X if you're looking at, but yeah, either one. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with either of them. So why is the three swords here? on a star. Mm -hmm. um, to bring about change into your life, because you're not really looking at anything. So you're looking within, listening to your inner voice, and doing a deep search within your soul of what do you want. Even in out your emotions. And then as you're doing so and have almost reached to that point where you're willing to accept things, they come in with a lot of communication. It causes you to have your guard up, and put the, and contemplate some more, but they are making an offer and coming in quickly. Oh, they wanted me to take all those cards. Okay, so, six of swords, why six of swords here? Half a deck and we're almost done with this deck. <laughs> Six of Swords here for Virgo. Moving to build a new foundation for yourself and looking at things in a different light. Um, so why is the Nine of Swords here? So previously you wished for something to come true, and then you were, once you did get your wish, you were presented with all these options. A lot of them weren't. Um, it could have been a lot of illusionment and um, wishful thinking, but yeah, once it ended, then the Nine of Swords started. And that's why you're currently on your journey to um, move into calmer waters and to really work on yourself, especially over here. So why is the Magician here? Manifested. Mm. Mm, not bad. They definitely watch you. Um, yeah, because whoever this is, they definitely watch you and they are going to come forward soon. 
this could be both of them that you manifested into your life there may be more but that's for another story so why is the queen of wands here financial stability in your life and once you do you're going to start focusing on getting the ten of cups into your life bringing you into this queen of wands energy but why is the eight of swords here why are you stuck decisions about what you want. And yeah, the need to be right for some reason. But that's only for some reason. And you always have the option to walk Virgo. But that is your reading, and I hope you liked it. And if you do, like, comment, share, and subscribe down below, and I will see you again next time. Later.